Hi everyone, it's Miss Kate. And Miss Hazel. Today we're gonna to do something that's sort of old fashioned and fun. So a long time ago when people were making um, buildings like they're designing houses, architects were working, they made something called blueprints, which is on blue paper. And it looked um, like white lines of the design. You could see that out that way. Now people do what are called white prints. So it's on white paper and a different technique. But we're going to do something fun and pretend like we're making blueprints. And so what would a blueprint be for, Miss Kate? Like when you were building something? Yes, yeah, so if you're building a house or a building, it could be show the outside of what it looks like with all the dimensions. Or it would be um, the inside, the different rooms where everything would be placed. And when an architect or a builder, like a contractor, was looking at the blueprints, they would know exactly where to place everything. And, and that how was, to build the house. And how to build the house and how to do the plumbing and how to do the electricity. Yeah. All of that would be on the blueprints. So we're going to make blueprints. So as you can see, I did this here. So all you need is a piece of blue paper. We're using... Um, True, right? Yeah, but it's like, how big is this? 12 by 18. Oh yeah, that's 12 by 18. Yes, yeah, <laughs> so I couldn't think of it. 12 by 18 because I wanted to make a big building, but you can use any size. So we're using blue construction paper white paint and then some pieces of cardboard and we're also using this lid right here to make circles and that's it you don't even need very much for this isn't that fun and we put the white paint on this lid so that we could um dab it with the cardboard okay so this is what we're going to start with that's the first building i did so i was imagining that it was um i was like this had a little balcony a little circular window and some, you know, kind of jets off to the side a little bit. I did not do the interior. I only did what the outside would look like. Okay, here we go. So now you get to use your imagination, any kind of building that you want to make. It could be a super fancy building. It could be a very plain building. It could be... Could it be a barn? It could be a barn. It could be rectangular. It could be a doghouse. It, dog it could be anything that you want it to be. Remember, you are the, now you're the architect designing this building. So I'm going to use my cardboard on the side to get my paint. So I'm going to have to kind of drag it through a little bit because this lid is not quite tall enough for this. Huh. Okay. And then I'm going to just put it on its side. This is my paintbrush. And I'm going to make lines. I think I'm going to make my building, this building is going to be taller than that building. So I went up three times and I'm going to add some more paint to it. I'm going to go back up this side. One, two, three. And now I get to add stories to the building. So I have to decide how many floors will this building have? I think this building is going to have, well, maybe it looks like it's going to have three. Three floors. Maybe it's a big apartment building. I have to make it a little bit taller. very exciting. It's very fun. You get to decide whatever kind of building you want to make. It could be one that doesn't even exist. Maybe you are going to design a house of the future. I don't know. Ooh. I'm going to take this smaller piece of cardboard to do my smaller bits. Like I'm going to want to add some windows because windows are important in the building. Okay, so I'm going to keep adding windows so that anyone who's living here can see out It's very fun to play with this. It's so simple, just a piece of cardboard. Oh, I should have a front door though too, don't you think? Well, how are we gonna get in? Well, that's why I just thought, front door. This is sort of a really big door to get in. I'll make it a little bit, I don't know what I'm doing there. Okay, I'm gonna add some windows here to bring us some light into that first floor. I'll add some more up here because they would want some windows. Again, it's important always to have windows. I'll try and make this all matchy matchy here. Oh, my windows, I think as an architect, I wouldn't be so great because my windows are a little bit wonky. I probably have to fix them, make sure they're all straight or the builder would 
build a very confused building. Okay, now here's another fun part. So I'm going to take this, the lid, this is from a, um, it's actually from red paint. I'm going to dip that in and I'll add another little round window at the very top of this building because it's fun. And I'll do one right in the middle here so it looks like it all matches. And one more thing. I'm going to add a balcony to this side because the people who live here want to be able to go out. Oh, how nice. And see what's going on on this side. I would want to anyway. Oh, and we'll give the, the top floor people also have a balcony because that would be fair. So anyway, blueprints, old fashioned kind of way to make, I think that people actually still call them blueprints, even though I now know that they're called white prints. We have a lot of white prints. Um, a friend of ours who does some steel work uses white prints. And when he's done with his, um, with whatever the project is, he gives us his white prints. So we use them uh, to, to draw prints. or to build things or to cover, to cover tables sometimes. It's very fun. It's a fun way to use them. Anyway, here we go. This is my newest building that Kate Mead, architect of Alameda, is making. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone. Show us your pictures if you make them. Remember, you can just have your parents put them on um, Instagram and at Alameda Arts Fun. You can also subscribe to our channel if you like this um, video and see more of what we're doing. And just come and look us, look us up on our um, website at alamedaarts.com. Thanks, everyone. See you soon. Bye, friends.